Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new and very short Star Wars Old Republic video where today we're talking about Dark vs. Light rewards, but specifically the two new armor sets that we're getting. So to start of this video, I'll just go into the actual information you guys are waiting for, like the images of the armor sets, and then the second part will just be my personal opinions and basically rant on it. But first of all, here are the armor sets. The first one you'll see here is the Victorious Trailblazers armor set, and what you might notice is it's a little bit different than the one that was initially shown to the players when the Dark vs. Light event first launched. This was on the swotar.com or the swotar's official website so the image uh, that was on the website is a little bit different than the one we're shown here and that's probably because um, you know they decide to give some design changes or whatever so that's the victorious trailblazer you get that for completing champion level now the next one is the victorious titan and this one is got for completing the legendary level so that's how you get this one both very similar, uh, if anything you could call it a reskin but they added in some new things on it that makes it a little bit more um, Decorated, you could say, basically what it is, it's more plating. Like, they add more plating onto the helmet and onto the bracers and stuff. Anyway, so that's the actual information part of this video. As I mentioned, very, very short. I just wanted to quickly show you guys because some of you might not know this information has been data mined. So that that's what it is. And for those of you who are wondering whether you want to do the legendary event, this is the armor set that you're going to be getting. And uh, for those of you who have already completed it and done all the work, this is your reward. And the reason I say it so, um, you know, just so directly is I'm just so disappointed with this. And here we get into my opinion and my rant. So for those of you who are actually going to stay tuned, thank you so much for staying tuned. Uh, I hope my rant will um, keep you entertained. So the bottom line is this is just absolutely horrific on Bioware's part. Just absolutely terrible. And I'm going to hate so hard on them right now because this is absolutely no effort. Like, thank you, Bioware, for showing us exactly what absolutely no effort looks like. You took an armor set okay that that uh, you never showed the players like you when you first released the dark versus light event you never showed us what the victorious titans armor set looked like you showed us every other reward you even showed us the victorious titans turret mount which looks absolutely amazing great but you never showed us the uh, victorious titans armor set and now we just realize that it's literally a reskin of the victorious trailblazers armor set the, an armor set that is given to players that did considerably less work and the reason I'm so pissed about this is if I was actually going to go and do the legendary level which I'm totally not and I never planned to but if I was going to I would be so disappointed seeing that this is my reward because a legendary level requires literally hours upon hours upon hours of work and grinding and doing boring ass content that veteran players have probably done time and time again and are very bored of doing and um you know, haven't gotten new content in a long time when you're talking about group content and stuff. And so they're grinding all this old content and then you're literally giving them a reskin of an armor set that looks very similar that, uh, to an armor set that you're going to be giving to players that did considerably less work. Those players that just reached a champion level. And so, yeah, it's, it's absolutely terrible. And especially when you compare it to the amount of effort that they've put into some cartel market armor sets. Think back to the tactical infantry armor set, which I probably talked about a ton in my videos, and you guys are probably really sick of, of hearing about it. But the tactical infantry armor set was an absolutely amazing armor set. It was geared towards commandos. That, that was very clear. Uh, it looked very nice just from the outset, but it had a very gra cool graphical effect to it. So, for example, if you drew your weapon, in this case it would be the assault cannon, you would have these tactical HUDs that appeared. Now that is an absolutely amazing armor set. Very simple. It's got this nice graphical, uh, you know, effect on it. But you can tell it sells for like millions on the GTN because everyone went crazy over it because it was an amazing armor set. Now why can't that kind of effort be put into something that people are literally putting hours of work to get to? Like people are going to put in hours upon hours of work to do the legendary level. People probably already did so, and then they realize that absolutely no effort has gone into the armor set that they're going to get as a reward. Um, so yeah, aside from being a total reskin and having absolutely no graphical effect, why do you give us a helmet that makes you look like a duck? Like, that is, like, what, I don't know what that helmet is. Is that supposed to look cool? Because in my opinion, it doesn't look cool whatsoever. And the upper body armor is so generic. Like, you can find upper body armors that not only look like that, but look better than that for, like, 100k credits on the GTN. Like, just go look, you'll find way better armor. Like, this is just, um, very, very disappointing. And you know, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, well, the armor set sucks. What about, like, the Victorious Titans turret mount? That's a pretty cool turret mount. Well, here, I'll tell you something about this armor set and that mount. And if it's anything I know, Bioware's probably going to reskin it and put it in a future cartel pack. Like, they've done that with all of the ranked PvP rewards. And they've already said that they, they know they do that, and that's fine, they say. Because, well, that specific reward you're getting is exclusive. 
well, that doesn't really matter. Like, for example, with the ranked PvP rewards, uh, the Rancor. The first ranked PvP reward was the Rancor. There was another one, like the Savage Nexu. Now, these were the first Rancors or Nexus to ever be given to anyone in the game. And that's great. The people who had them, they had an exclusive bound for like a month. And then those items got reskinned and thrown in a cartel pack. So really, what's the point if you can get a very similar item to these exclusive rewards just from opening a cartel pack or buying it off the GTN for a few million credits? And if it's if I know also if I know anything about Bioware, it's that these armor sets will also probably be reskinned. So the mount will be reskinned, these armor sets will be reskinned. What was really the point of putting in all those hours to reach legendary level? I don't really see the point. Uh, one thing I want to quickly mention is for those of you who actually who have actually done legendary level or plan to or are very close to completing it, put it, you know really let me know in the comment section. Just put it down there. What do you guys think? Are you guys satisfied with this reward? Because I really am curious to know. When I was looking on the Delphi uh, posts and the comments on this, uh, you know, a lot of people were actually saying they liked it. There were obviously a ton of people saying they were so disappointed. Why is it a reskin? Are we seriously getting that armor set for the legendary level? But there were also some people saying they actually liked it and they would actually use it. So let me know. I'm actually really curious. But once again, this is just my personal opinion and it doesn't even matter because I'm not even doing legendary level or ever plan to. But, uh, but I just did kind of want to rant about it because, as I mentioned at the start of this video, it shows absolutely no effort and it just is so terrible, especially considering some of the nicer cartel market stuff we've gotten. Anyways, that's the end of my rant. Uh, thank you so much for those of you who actually stayed tuned to the end of this video and who listened to my opinion. Uh, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.